Hello everyone, we're inside the Friary today and we're going to talk to you about something very important in the life of our community, the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word. We are having our elections. Well, before we have these elections, there are many things that have to be covered. A lot of preparations and much of these uh, preparations are done by our uh, canon lawyer here and expert, uh, Father Dominic Mary. And so he's going to tell us a little bit about how the elections work, uh, what we have to do to prepare, and, and something what we call a general chapter. So Father, uh, tell us a little bit about how, the, how we do the elections. What, what is it about? What are, we, what are we electing? What are we doing here? And yeah, yeah. So for our community, we have uh, someone mm -hmm. that we call our superior, mm -hmm. and we call him the community servant. Yeah. And so he's responsible for the community. Then he has like a vicar. Mm -hmm. It's like a, like a vice uh, community servant. It's like a vicar. Mm -hmm. And then we have also uh, uh, four of the friars who like give him counsel mm -hmm. and advice about different things that he has uh, uh, questions about or has to make decisions about certain things so we call this the community council um, so every three years or so uh, and that's because the term limits uh, are every three years we elect our community servant the community vicar and the community counselors right so every three years we have what's called the general chapter mm -hmm. And the word chapter may throw some people off, but it's a term that St. Francis and his mm -hmm. friars used back in the, you know, the 1200s. And we've kept that tradition going all these years. So, uh, so anyway, we have this uh, general chapter every three years. And all of the friars, we come together. And it's a pretty solemn experience. We, we go in a chapel and um, before the Blessed Sacrament, we have all the television cameras mm -hmm. turned off, all the microphones off, and uh, we proceed, uh, we discuss certain important matters dealing with our community, and then after we discuss and vote on certain matters of, important matters of our community, then after that we have our community elections where we elect mm -hmm. the community servant, the community vicar, and the community counselors. Mm -hmm. But that takes a lot of preparation, mm -hmm. and so we've got to get ready before that mm -hmm. Um, and also, what's interesting, Father Leonard, is when we have our community chapter, uh, the Bishop of Birmingham is there, and he actually presides over our elections. Mm -hmm. He's actually in charge of that, and he has a representative and a witness mm -hmm. there to, you know, from the diocese uh, to be with us on that day. So there's a lot of preparation that goes into this. And so um, what's interesting is uh, when we conduct the elections mm -hmm. and we take our votes, um, it's, it's done by secret ballot. Mm -hmm. So we have like this special box and people fill in, you know, who they think is the best choice mm -hmm. for the, to be yeah. in charge. And then we put it in the box. We, we actually genuflect mm -hmm. and, you know, in the name of God, I elect so-and-so to this office yeah. and put it in the box. And then afterwards, um, uh, we have what, what are called scrutineers. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically what their name implies is they scrutinize yeah. the votes. And mm -hmm. so anyway, uh, in meetings prior to the general chapter, we have to like decide who those scrutineers are going to be yeah. and, and whatnot. So in, in, uh, we have a meeting ahead of time where all the friars are together and the community servant, mm -hmm. he picks out the, the names for the three scrutineers. And, mm -hmm. and so they become the scrutineers in the general chapter. And um, so during the elections themselves, uh, what will happen is each friar will place the, their ballot in the box, like mm -hmm. I was talking about, and we can have up to three different ballots mm -hmm. for each one of these positions, for the community servant, the community vicar, and the community counselors. And um, so after all the friars are done putting their ballots in the box, then the first scrutineer will read it. and pass it to the next scrutineer, mm -hmm. and they all record to make sure that we got the mm -hmm. same person, and then the third scrutineer will announce who, who mm -hmm. got the ballot. And we do that for all of the ballots for a particular uh, election. And uh, once we get a certain uh, threshold of votes for each one of these positions, then um, he announces, the, the, the third scrutineer announces who was elected, mm -hmm. and then um, he stands and he asks the Bishop of Birmingham to confirm him in the office. Mm -hmm. and, the, and so it's a real technical, like mm -hmm. canonical process. And so then the Bishop 
says, yes, I confirm you to that office, mm -hmm. and there he is. He's now the new community servant or the new community vicar or one of our four counselors okay. that uh, serves, you know, the community. Yeah. So, and then, um, anyway, we have prayers that we do before mm -hmm. that and prayers after that. What you do is, is very important, very necessary, because it involves the actual voting itself um, and the more technical side. But beforehand, we get together as a community and we pray. Uh, we'll do a novena, uh, and in this novena, we're asking uh, our Holy Father, St. Francis, to pray for us. Uh, also, about a week or two before the elections, we will have a Mass in the lower church in Hansville, Alabama, at the Shrine of the Blessed Sacrament. And there we will, of course, ask our Lord to, to guide us, to uh, direct us in the right decisions for our community, asking that the Holy Spirit inspire us with, the, with calling upon the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Francis, the Franciscan saints, and also Mother Angelica, whose tomb is nearby. And we'll do that. We'll have some community time to, to talk uh, within the next few weeks uh, to discuss the direction of our community and who fits best in certain offices. And then um, on the day of the elections, we, of course, have our divine office in the morning, uh, morning prayer. Uh, then we will do a ma community mass together. And we will also do a rosary and a holy hour. And th this will get us all prayed up and prepared uh, to, to vote for the elections. But there's, there's a whole lot involved in it. But really, the, the most important part is prayer, because this community belongs to God. And he's entrusted us to a mission. So we want to be sure that we, wanna, that we do his will faithfully and charitably. So, hey, we thank you for, um, for your support for us. We thank you for watching, most especially. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about this. And until the next time, God bless you. And can you give them a blessing, Father Dominic? Yes, yes, yeah. I can. Thank you, Father. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. And may Almighty God bless you and give you his peace. May he turn his countenance towards you and be gracious to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.